Oh my god. This doesn't look like garbage. Hi guys. Uh, we are gonna be playing Spanish Ratchet and Clank. I know. No, 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 no. But we're, uh... I, I shouldn't be showing that. Uh, Ratchet and Clank. Final step, attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. Meanwhile, in a factory on a nearby planet. Approaching Planet Veldon, 1147 AM. And boom! Clank's dead. Clank is officially dead. There's his dead body. What a shame. Anyway, video game. Instantly need to change this to opposite controls. We gotta do opposite. Welcome to the Gadgetron Help Desk. We are here to offer you advice during your The Help Desk is a free service provided by the Corporation. But yeah, we are we are playing this game. I definitely did not out of nowhere decide why is it lagging so bad. This is a totally real PS3. I don't see a problem here. <laughs> but uh Yeah, this was supposed to be my first let's play. But uh I also didn't want to stoop to the level of pointing a camera at a TV for more than like five episodes. I don't know how many there actually were. Okay, it, it was not lagging at all in any of these tests. Come on, come on, no lag. Stop it. You, can interrupt help desk you bet I'll interrupt it. Yeah, this is kind, kind of say generic things. Uh, one of my favorite games. I grew up with this game. I know this game. Shut up. I know how to use a wrench. Yeah. I'm definitely not recording this at like 7 in the morning. And I'm recording this on a whim. Of boredom. No, no, no. This is all part of the plan. Since I'm recording this early, I'm gonna be more honest. But, uh, I plan to do, like, everything in this game. Well, maybe not everything. Plan to get all the stupid gold bolts. I don't know about the skill points, so that's just useless. We're not getting trophies on my real PS3. They really do be lagging. It's fine, though. What an embarrassment. I'm actually getting hit by these guys? 
What a joke. I'm supposed to be a pro. Okay. Interesting. You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Why is this like off? Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizens of. My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Drek, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, Understand. We will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas. But, of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. Cut. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? Look, turn it off, you idiot! The people on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Deal. Airman Drax flagship. Built in orbit. This could be a problem. Take care of it. Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you can stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is B54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on! Back on Chairman Drek's flagship. So you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this! Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Entering atmosphere of Planet Novalis. And the game's over. We're all dead. Clank? Where are you? You'd think he'd feel that. Sorry about that. Landing on Clank. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. 
Yeah, fun. Okay, we're gonna do this point and then on the episode. I couldn't do this before. I was like, well, limited to like eight minutes on that stupid camera. We're gonna do the little side area first. Are we ready for the bug? Let's just get it on the screen now. Yeah, that's not gonna go away. That, that's stuck there. Gotta love the PS3 version of this game. I guess I could have played the PS2 one, but this one looks good. And, uh, on my totally legitimate PS2, uh, there's a bit of glitches with how it looks. On my totally real, uh, not computer. <laughs> There's not really, like, any real reason to go here, other than Gold Bolt, which we're good at those, so. You never really have to go there. Let's get all Bomb Glove, break the wall. And there's our first storm of the many. reason we want to go here though first is we get bolts and we will have enough for a gun which is pretty epic because we're gonna be using this gun for like the rest of the game it's that good what are we just oh flame through Oh, there's a point there. And there's Squish Boy. Another fun glitch. We are literally broke now. It's okay, though. It's fine. Now we do some nice, fun platforming. Up. I saw use the fancy flamethrower. Now next gold bolt, just do some wall jumps. And then there you go. And those two are all we can get on this planet. At least right now. There's another one, but we got the backtrack. Big oof. Imagine getting one shot by a wrench. Uh, yeah, the wrench is like literally one of the best weapons in the entire game. And it's literally what you start with. The wrench is never like bad in this game. Never. Unless it's like, you know, super far enemy. It's like, okay. Of course it's not gonna be good. It's close range. But any close range person, you're gonna be able to like, one, two, three shot, whatever. this part. Dead bliss. 
missed it. <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this god darn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. And here's the common thing in this game where... Oh, you meet a person? Gotta give him money. Geronimo! Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? Mayday, mayday! This is the solar ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close! Ah! Back down, I can't concentrate. Oh, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long! Kid, let's am scream! Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. <laughs> I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Gadgetron Infobots give you coordinates for new planets. No yeah, you heard her. New planets. Okay. Yeah, look around mode? Okay. You're like never gonna use this. You can also use your Ooh, I can throw my rage. I mean, I guess it's kind of useful for aiming guns. Only ever useful for long range. Problem with it though is you can't move. You're stuck in your little spot. And now we slide down. And time to go to the main part of this planet. And there's no fall damage, so no reason to not just fall. I never get tired of just slamming things with my wrench in this game. Big difference from this game and the others is you don't have to use your weapons. Because in other games, you would be able to level them up, so it's like, you would really want to use your weapons to level them up. And they made the wrench a lot worse. But like here, you just one-shot everything with the wrench. Doesn't use ammo. Nice and fast. And you want to save your bolts on this game. So everything's pretty expensive. Money should never be an issue for me, though. I won't be able to get everything, though, enough in the first playthrough. There's a glitch I'll show off. I won't actually like use it though in this, but I will show how to do it. Where you can literally just get infinite bolts. It just takes a while. But well, that's not gonna be for a while. That's like around almost halfway through the game. Nice little mini cutscene of boom, boom, boom. Too easy. Uh, over there is where uh, the last gold bolt's gonna be. 
I lied. No, it's actually over here. Oh, this is quite the sham. Oh, this is a sham. I just wasted time. Whatever, it's not one of those ways. Pretty sure it's that way. Where the last gold bolt is, but we can't get it yet. Darn me for trying to show things off. It isn't like it's far. I guess it's boring if I just use the wrench. Did I even use this once? No, I think I did in the first one. Eh, just chuck a bomb at people. But also one shots. I guess the whole, you know, not using ammo thing doesn't matter because got all the ammo boxes. Blind thrower? Who would have guessed? It's amazing for groups. It is amazing for groups. Just spray it and go in a circle. Everything dies. Also, another difference from this game, uh, going in here doesn't pause it, doesn't freeze time. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Oh, what are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I I'll tell you anything. Here, take my info bot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on, let's see what he's got. Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than staring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? Ah. You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime. <laughs> Come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's RoboShack, it's Quarktastic. Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. <laughs> what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, as planetary chairman, I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Now that you have coordinates to two new planets, you can use your ship. I'm just gonna point out. He says, "Oh, oh, you can you can borrow the ship. We're never giving it back. We're we're never giving the ship back. Okay, we're just gonna abandon it at one point, but it's fine." <laughs> It's never really explained where it goes. It just we just stop using it and use a new one. It's fine though. <laughs> we'll just assume he somehow gets it back. <laughs> yeah, that's really about it for this episode. I guess uh, every video is gonna be about two planets. Oh, it's just a long planet. I guess these were the shortest planets. That's fine. I got some great Max stuff. Shame you can't buy max ammo from these. You have to literally select each gun. That's gonna be really annoying in the late game. But yeah, next time we're gonna do a radio and Metropolis. I really did that messed up. Shouldn't I say outpost outpost X11 in Metropolis, or should I say radio and Kerlock? Whatever. Who cares? This is my video. I do what I want. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>